Welcome back. You're still watching the agenda. We're getting loads of reaction to that report by the Parliamentary Section 89 panel. And we're asking you, what do you want to see uh, happen now that the panel has found that uh, the president does have a case to answer for uh, where Palapala is concerned? At the agenda underscore SABC is where those tweets are coming in. Well, Makosi says, I think the president is going nowhere as we're waiting for the outcome from the investigation. Authorities, I think they want to say, such as SAP and Hawks and Public Protector, what if they come with a positive outcome which cleared president from wrongdoing? Would the opposition parties accept that? Moses Mlambo says there are no surprises there because any sober-minded South African can see that Ramaphosa has disgraced the highest office in the land. He kept portraying himself as the clean one in the rotten ANC Marayene. He's the slyest fox of them all. Rama must do right by us and resign. Igor Vastrapi says, good morning, ladies. I've always maintained that he's not as clean as most of his followers project him to be. He also likes the money. He said he'll step aside if fingered. He must walk the talk now. Uh, Maile says, uh, good morning. May have uh, uh, a prima facie case of politics are taking round. Well, just a moment ago, we had the press briefing held by opposition party, the Democratic Alliance. Their biggest call in that briefing is that uh, they are calling for an early national election. We continue getting a uh, reaction from opposition in the country. Uh, we're joined now by uh, the spokesperson of the Economic Freedom Fighters, Mr. Sinawa Tambo. Uh, Mr. Tambo, a good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on the agenda. I think what's the, what's the official position of the Economic Freedom Fighters and what's the discussions that being had by the party in response to this report by the uh, Section 89 panel? Look, the EFF uh, finds that the report is staging, damning, it confirms that we are led by a gangster president who has no respect for our constitution, no respect for the rule of law. And uh, funnily enough, the report I just did not even confirm his deceit when it says that evidence presented by him should be approached with caution. So the report is damning. It has exposed Ramaphosa as someone who is uh, greedy, as someone who launders money, as someone who does not respect domestic and international laws. And the Economic Forum fighters uh, think that if there was any semblance of integrity, let it in who would resign the media. He has to stay right away from the National Council of Provinces because he's scared of accountability. He doesn't want to account and he's a coward. Uh, so his best course of action now is for him to resign in order for him to not disrespect the country any further. Um, we we heard from the Democratic Alliance calling for a national um, election, an early national election. What's the position of the economic freedom fighters on what should happen next from your from your uh, from your side? And I'm not just talking about what the president does next, but what you want to see from a leadership point of view in the country moving forward. Look, uh, it's an option that can be explored. Uh, our most immediate task, as things stand now, is to ensure that uh, Ramaphosa steps down as the president of this country. And the measures as to which how we uh, ensure that we continue and restore the integrity of the office of the president of South Africa uh, will be explored. I mean, the Economic Freedom Fighters will be having the Central Command team this weekend, which will make decisive resolutions on what direction South Africa must take. So it would be premature for us to comment on uh, whatever the DA is saying in terms of what must happen with national elections. The EFF will come up with a concise plan of action after its national meeting this weekend and how the country must go forward. But our most immediate task as peace-loving and law-abiding citizens of the country is to ensure that no longer have a mafia as a president. We certainly have seen the economic freedom fighters quite vocal about the Palapala matter over the past few months. So you're not one of those parties that sits back and, and, and does not partake in the conversation. You've been very active, in fact, going as far as to make it difficult for the president to even address the nation. I mean, do you, do you consider the role that you played um, to get us to this point as a party? Absolutely. The economic freedom fighters have played a critical role in ensuring that uh, Senator Raposa is held accountable for the crimes committed on Palapala Farm. It is the economic freedom fighters that called for the development of the to disclose whether it had received any declaration of foreign currency coming into the country during the period in which there was a robbery on Palapala Farm. The response from the Reserve Bank was indicative because it said that they were still investigating the origins of the currency, which logic follows means that 
no declaration was made to the Reserve Bank. If logic follows, then no declaration was made to start. So the economic and fighters have been part and parcel of the systemic exposure of the contradictions in Ramaphosa's statements and objective realities and facts. We've been part and parcel of applying necessary pressure to law enforcement agencies and, of course, ensuring that we hold Ramaphosa accountable in Parliament, even when he resorts to the use of violence through parliamentary policies. So we've played our own critical role in ensuring that uh, Ramaphosa is exposed, as we always have in the past. Yeah. Snow Tambo, spokesperson there for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Let's take a short break. We'll continue in a moment. Know where to get nice things at a nice price. Get the quarter deluxe regular meal for only $49.90. A deal for the smart spender. Nah, so. There's more than one way to say, I love you. There's more than one way to say, I remember. Funeral cover from clientele means lasting dignity for you and your family. Our funeral plans are affordable. They pay within 24 hours. It includes a grocery and unveiling benefit. We will send you airtime when you claim. My husband's funeral plan paid for everything and we had money left for our living expenses. Funeral cover is affordable. Peace of mind is priceless. As a provider, you show your love in different ways, making financial provision as one of them. His death showed us that tomorrow is not promised to anyone. We should prepare for it today. You can now download our free funeral guide from our website. Try and tell funeral plans. It's your final gift of love. SMS honor to 48524 and we'll call you back. SMS now. We have been invited to the much anticipated listening session for some good music. Let's go and enjoy the rest of this island. And everything succulent. Ah, ah, ah. It's now time for us to say goodbye. What you guys are watching is Trends Live.